Hey there guys, this is the first group in the middleweight, so we'll just get in here. Just received the summer head-to-head -head challenge prize, as you can see it's a heavyweight fighter, Roy Nelson. A Bellator fighter I believe, but hey, UFC can't keep a hold of everyone. You know that's true now. So on the last little upload, it was only a few moments long. Vanderlei Anderson and the man of this video, George Rush St. Pierre. Let's crack on. We're all gonna do these matches, so Let's crack on and find out how things are going to go for this. I don't think nothing's going to be too much of a challenge right now. I'm only two levels behind, but I'm a superior. It's alright. Everyone's superior, you can see. Hell, it's a stand up ground. This was. I'm not going to say it's going to be a walk in the park, but it's going to be interesting. Let's see how these matches go. George St. Pierre is one of my all-time favourites. He's not the favourite. Nobody could take that away from somebody like Chuck Liddell. But, still... He's just George St. Pierre's one of the guys. He's not gonna be beaten with a great deal of ease. He's he's always got that game plan coming and he's always Well I've not got a game plan, you can see that. He's always got a game plan and he always follows it. That's why you he, he usually wins most of them. No, he's his record. That's the match against the first one against Matt Hughes that he lost. And uh, which was then followed by Matt Serra, who lost both title fights. Uh, this may as well be one of the title fights because I'm not going to win, I know that much. You never know. I highly doubt I'll win. I'm not even barely going to walk away with a star here. Yeah, barely. Just one star, one star. Luck was not on my side right now for this match. But still, we got that W. That's that's what matters. That's what matters. That W. That W. And they're taking that con. Rich Franklin. Again, there's nothing wrong with Rich Franklin. I do like the guy. He is brilliant. Nice spin kick. That's my next team. He'll know that stupid thing. Um. You know, you do know I did say that Chuck Liddell's my favourite. I did break my heart that it was Rich Franklin that retired though. You know, but, you know, he's a nice, he's a genuinely nice guy. That's what he, I hear. I believe Chuck Liddell said that on the, the Ultimate Fighter or something like that. Somebody that he hates and then he, he's one of the nicest guys in the entire sport. You know, but, you know, things happen. Somebody had to be the First title mark for Anderson Silva. You know, 
so how it, that's how it goes great career though everybody has a great career try and rally up that silver hopefully I can buy a nice big box with loads of abilities for some day for some people can't tell you much it's gonna be a good one whoever how many ever I get hopefully I'll upload a bunch of them So I was able to get up to about rank 12 or 11 in that player to player summer, summer thing, but it's no easy to get high, that high. You just say, it wasn't easy to be honest, but yeah, I did a lot of fair few matches. More than I was able to count, I swear I always keep my top 5 guys there. But we'll be heading into autumn now. This is this video will be gone up later on this evening, and this is the the first of September. Ooh, first of September, Christmas isn't going to be far away. Ooh, I hate folk are always saying that Christmas is coming. Mark Munoz, the Filipino wrecking machine. This is gonna be a good one. Looks like things that might be good, might be going my way for a fair bit in this match, so I may just be able to get a three star. Cross your fingers. against George St. Pierre so I didn't think anybody was expecting him to be able to steamroll over me it's one of the it's a fact of life Jake Ellen Boygoy. Sometimes you just hate a past stupid accent on that name. It just sounds so fucking funny. <laughs> um, I'm a really bad person. <laughs> ah well, monkey no monkeys. All right, let's rock and roll. Probably end up buying a bunch of abilities after this match. After the, well, maybe not this match. Maybe just after the, um, just after this video is finished. Get in, boogies! Not many to help. Greedy what I need to get my W, but hey, I like that W, I like the, the sight of that three stars. Well, halfway there. Mm. Fuck yeah! Look, Rook! Look, Rock old. Yeah! There is a, a Tumblr page that does follow me. I think it was the first one to actually follow me. Fuck yeah, look, Rockhold! 
was its name? First one ever I actually follow me on Captain Mikey. So, if you like MMA, just jump on and find follow, follow me, follow this guy because I post a lot of crap about UFC, MMA, just in general. Wrestling as well, who's in memes? Just cause they're funny, so I post them. This guy does not want to go down with stuff like that. <laughs> well, me or a so let's give these guys a good match. You're not gonna bell a bell at me here, mate. Oh, I missed it down. These guys are gonna get a fight to remember. Damn. A perfect takedown. GSP! 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 One day, one day, one day the great GSP will have another belt, but I don't think that'll be soon. No. The club of guys that have two belts in the US, he's getting fairly big now. You never, you never know, you never know. George... George has had a great career with the record of uh, uh, title defences, straight title defences in this way division. He did share it with Matt Hughes, but that was not Matt Hughes was not straight though, because that was across two different, um, two different reigns. Title defences and title defences in a row. Maybe they should put Dan Hardy in us. I like Dan Hardy. Could be like a lightweight fighter or something like that. Cause he's Maybe be more a middleweight. Oh ah, well, who knows? I would buy him in a way. Come on. Double leg take down. And I got a TQ with double leg takedown. You never see that in the UFC. A double leg takedown knockout. That would be funny though. That would be funny. Double leg takedown knockout. I can't. <laughs> well. Rory McDonald, another Bellator, another Bellator fighter. Maybe then I should be stop worrying about paying Conor McGregor millions of dollars and pay these actual fighters. Maybe I have them when we run after Bellator. Might actually be able to get some. Miss the crown jewel, Fedor Emelianenko. I would have been a crown jewel in his cap. Back in the day, but no, he missed that because he's too fucking proud to go. No, I don't want you to do that, your sambo. No, no. Oh yeah, well, yo, he's, he's learning Dana White. Bashing Dana White a wee bit. Dana White's done a great job, I just didn't think he should be paying Conor McGregor a fucking fortune. Everybody has to get peanuts and he gets millions. If he 
didn't he that big mouth of his, he wouldn't be where he fucking is. I'm telling you that right now. Whoa, crap, bro. McDonald's is tricky, mate. Double leg takedown. No knock at this time with a double leg takedown. Classic Matt Hughes style knock it. Sorry, victory. That's the mod done for today. Well, I should expect number three to pop up later on this afternoon or something, because that's when I finished it yesterday. Damien and Mia. So it'd be a match. Just keep it on the feet then. Hmm. You'll not be able to stand up but just keep it on the feet because you'll not be a submission dude, ain't it? Keep it on the feet. Here we go, we're going down. Or a belt or whatever. Cage rage, cage warrior. Mm -hmm. fucking thing. You never see that sort of take down. That was nearly a pull. Rather than anything, you know. Quite weak. This is going to be over right now. It's no production. That's a fact of life. I'm not trying to be cocky either, that was obvious. As long as I didn't screw you up, it was over. I thought I was going to be a two star. Here we are, the final match. Main event, and it, oh, it is Vitor the Fino Belfort. I do have a lot of respect for Vitor Belfort. He has amazing insight that damn cage. To be honest with you, I think this is going to be a, a one star victory if I am able to pull the damn victory off, to be honest with you. I genuinely do not see me not being able to pull off a three star in this match just because it's Vitor Belfort. Anderson Silva, I'd probably say the same. Just because of. They're that damn good. But oh, sugar! That might have been my chance. You know, I'm expecting to get a flat lined up. I was in mess or something like that again. Oh, knockout! Right on top of the head, and he is out. Wow, I never, I never expected that. I didn't. I was just I anticipated just a straight out defeat against Vitor Belfort or just. Of one by the skin of my teeth. That's good, that's good. Bit of ground and pound on that. 
That, ladies and gentlemen, is the video for this afternoon. Oh yeah, it is afternoon now, it's just after 12 when I'm recording this, so yeah. We'll find out in the next video who I'm picking Anderson or Vanderlei. It'll be one of them, they're the some of the best guys I've got. I'll probably wind up coming out with a list of the guys that I'm going to use for these these matches. I'll probably wind up having, might wind up buying more. But you know, you never know. You never know. Hope you had a good, you've got a good evening ahead of you guys. I'll see you in the next video.